Hello there, what's up everybody? I hope you're good and welcome back. It's been a while, I know, I'm sorry, I was on holiday, but now I have a lot of free time so I can go on with the development and share my updates with you on a more regular basis. In this video, I'm going to show you some new features, as always, I would say, <laughs> but this time I want to get deeper into things so you can understand better how they work. You can see on the bottom left that I added a cold bar. This one basically will decrease whenever you land on a cold island or during night, so... To fight the cold, you will have to light up a campfire, which is almost complete with the placing mechanic. We're gonna see that in a moment. And yeah, it's night, and the cold and the cold bar is decreasing. And you can see that whenever you get to zero, your health will decrease per time. This is not very fast process, and I still have to make some kind of warning that that you're freezing, but it's working, and that's cool. Um, the same principle for the hunger bar. And for the health bar, it will start increasing whenever you have at least 80% of cold and hunger bars. Let's get into some serious stuff. Let's talk about the placing algorithm that I worked on lately. We will see that with a campfire, but it could be applied to anything else. Uh, the main idea is to create a rakus projecting forwards from the position of the main camera and instantiate something where it collides with the terrain. I don't know if that makes sense, uh, but I will explain with some graphic, uh, yeah, some high quality graphics, so it's going to be clear. Okay, so this is the terrain and this is the player. Uh, well, the Raycast is going to have this direction and in this point I will instantiate my campfire with a huge fire, something like that. Okay, let's see how it looks. All right, this is not what we want maybe, but at least the rake is working and the next step is to create only one instance of the campfire. Something like this, just checking if the game object already exists and override his position. And at this point I want the campfire to follow the terrain slope and be some sort of preview like with the blue color if you can actually place it or red if not. Classic. Uh, so yeah. When it collides with uh, something like this, I want it to become red and not placeable anymore. Oh, and to make the preview follow the slope of the terrain, again, a line of code, very simple, just overriding the preview rotation with the normal of this uh, of the hit point, like so. Now it's time to check for some extreme cases, borderline, I don't know how to call them, uh, but I'm gonna show you one of them, so... Basically, we don't want this to happen. Uh, I know it's funny, but it's wrong, so I have to check the normal of the hit point before moving my preview. Here there are some values, we have to check them first. I have to check the first number and the third number, so x and z coordinates to know if we are on a plane or on a wall. Good values for my case are anything between 0 and 0.4. And this is the code of this part. Nice, with this part done, you can see that I'm not able to place it where the slope is too high uh, or even on walls. And at this point, I have only one thing left to do. By adding a trigger on the campfire, I can check if it collides with anything and decide if it's placeable or not. And that's the final result. Okay, so I got deep into this mechanic. I don't know if you prefer this level of detail or... If it's just boring, let me know down below in the in the comments uh, so I can improve the quality of my devlogs and help you as much as I can. Uh, that's everything for today. Uh, I know it's not too much, but that's what I've done. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and have a great day.